I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but um, you know what, I'm not going to make excuses, I just want to share my birthing experience with you guys. Now, um, I'm sorry for this, this quality, of course, I, I do have my calm here to make this video, but I think my husband left with my memory card. So, um, that is another setback for me, for, um, you know, uploading videos and so on. But it doesn't matter, I have an alternative. And, um, I just want to thank everyone that shared their views on my channel. Uh, people that did agree with me on certain things, people that didn't agree with me. Um, the Lord is really doing a work in me and showing me that, you know, He's showing me a lot of things about my reaction to, you know, certain comments and so on, but that's okay. I... I had a pretty good birthing experience. I don't know where to start with this, but I'll go from the um, very beginning. I hope this doesn't take a lot of time. Now, um, the last video I uploaded, I said I, I wanted to do the natural birth, right? Now, I live on an island, and Having the natural birth was harder than I expected. We went to, we had to go to an, uh, a natural birthing facility, and um, it's the only one on the island. So we went there, they told us, you know, they're happy to have us, we signed up, and everything was going great, and then all of a sudden, the midwife took the, um, she was holding a little cone. It's, it's kind of like a Doppler, but the manual version, I suppose. And she's listening to my stomach, and she says, um, huh, that's strange. So, we were, my husband and I were wondering, well, what is strange? Then she took the tape measure and she measured the height of the fundus, and it was 40, and I wasn't yet full term. So she said, well, you're measuring larger than usual, but, um, you know, that could be, it could be that you have a very big baby, or it could be that you have two in there. <laughs> and, we started to, it was, it was really a surprise. I was not expecting that. Now the problems came when we decided that these twins that we were having, we wanted to have them naturally still. We did not want any large sort of, um, sorry, not large, uh, we didn't want a lot of medical intervention, if you know what I mean. No vaccinations, no unnecessary, you know, intervention. We just wanted it to happen the way it normally happens with human beings. Just the normal, natural way. That was highly unlikely the way we, um, we saw it, because every doctor we went to was determined to cut the babies out by C-section because they considered a twin pregnancy high risk. Now, the babies also were in, um, they did a few ultrasounds, and the babies were in awkward positions. They were not in the normal head down 
get ready to come out positions. So, um, <laughs> this was a problem. And everyone we went to said we should we should be prepared for a C-section. They're going to do it. No, no um, second thoughts about it. That's what's going to happen. And that's, that's it. We just have to accept that. We did not accept that. My husband did not accept that. He thought there was a better way to do this, and so did I. And I had a very strong feeling about it that we should not go on with the doctors that wanted to cut the babies out. It's not the way that God intended it to happen. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying. I'm not saying what I am not saying. I'm not saying what I don't mean. So those of you that had C-sections, cesarean sections, please don't take this the wrong way because I'm not implying anything about that. Hello. <laughs> yes, right? So, um... We went to five doctors in all, and all of them said the same thing. We even went to a private doctor. The doctor said he is an interventionist, an interventionalist. He, the, the point is he likes to intervene, okay? And he will decide to cut it out at the last minute even if I, even if we did not want that, because that's what he is trained to do. So we left him as well. Actually, he he um he put us out of his office. It it's crazy, but it's true, you know. So he told us that um he we, he, he can't help us here, and that we need to go to the public system and hope that everything goes right. Now, the public system was another situation. It was so frustrating to have to go here and come there and go there and come there. Um, anyway, so the time for delivery happened at um, 3 o'clock in the morning. I went to the washroom and... I did what I had to do, and the um, stream of urine was very long, so I was there, and I was waiting, and waiting, <laughs> and waiting for it to end, and it was not ending, so what I really... I just, I, I can't explain it. it, it happened, it was so strange, it was my first experience with all of this, and um, I went back into the room and I told my husband, yes, my, my water broke, I think, and he's like, no, no, it didn't, <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yes, it did. And he is like, no. <laughs> and this is how we went on for quite a, a few minutes until um, we did determine that that was the case. I was dripping everywhere and um, it just started to gush out occasionally and he got my dad and my dad came over and we all went to a hospital that was like an hour away because this is the only place that we knew would give us a chance at, at vaginal birth. So um, when we got there, the doctors were mad at me because I didn't stay with one doctor for a very long period of time. Um, they said, they can't do it here, I can't do it here. So here I am with my water 
running all over the place and he's like, the doctor's like, we can't do this here. You have twins, they're probably gonna have problems breathing, they're gonna probably almost die, you know, we don't have a neonatal intensive care unit here. You're gonna have to go to another hospital. So they called the ambulance. This was from three in the morning to about five o'clock. I was there and um, I had dilated one centimeter in that time. And all I could think about is the Lord. I just, I just meditated on Jesus. This is the truth. It may things so much easier because I had been thinking about if I didn't make it and I had been thinking seven months about um, you know the Lord keeping me through this experience even though it's a natural process some women don't make it and um, especially the way we wanted to do things so I had been contemplating on the Word of God and Jesus and I knew He was there and I felt His presence and the pain was just not, it was just nothing when I thought about Him. There were moments when I started to panic just a little and I took my mind off of Him and everything just seemed to calm down on me like, oh! And then I realized I shouldn't stop doing this. I should keep my mind on him and he will make it easier. And honestly, it worked 100%. This is the way it's supposed to be. If you are giving birth soon out there, contemplate on Jesus and the word. He will take, take you into him and give you that peace and let you and he will let you really experience the process of motherhood and birthing and you will have an experience that really really you will never forget you know and it won't be a bad experience at all and I put all my trust and I threw all my cares on him and he took care of it right throughout the pregnancy because we had all these hiccups, we had all these setbacks, but I trusted the Lord so much, and my husband was praying, and I know many of um, the people in his ministry were praying for us, and the Lord did come true for us. And um, of course, this comes with obedience to his word. I talk about that a lot. If you don't live in in accordance with his word if you don't follow him in your daily life then it's going to make things much difficult in every aspect of life you understand so this is my good advice to you from experience and um anyway the ambulance came they didn't allow my husband to come into the ambulance, so he had to find his own way down to the other hospital. I, From the first hospital to the second one, I dilated all the way, all the way. And that was about a two-hour drive, two and a half hours. I dilated up to about seven and a half, eight centimeters. At the time when I got to the last hospital, I was ready to go. <laughs> and the, the pains came like waves. It was like it was like I was riding the waves, just surfing, just surfing. And I was like, Lord, oh, here comes the other one. And then we went through it and we surfed the waves. <laughs> and that's how it was. And at that moment, the Lord put it in my spirit that I should just let the body do the work. Just let the body work. And I did. I stopped worrying. I just let the contractions come. I let the muscles tense. I let the muscles relax. I breathe. And I let the muscles tense. I let the muscles relax. And the pain, the 
pain was, it was, it's, it's something I cannot describe. It's like bearable but unbearable. It's like a frustrating, irritating, irritating sensation when the pain comes up and then it goes to a peak and then it drops again. And I could, it's as if I could feel like a golf ball making its way down a small passage. It's like a big, hard golf ball just squeezing through there. <laughs> and that was Alana's head. <laughs> I, I have come to realize it was her head. Because when I got to the hospital, her head was right at the entrance. It was right there, and everyone was just standing. There was a whole team in there. I didn't even tell them that, you know, they, in the public system, they don't respect your, um, your concerns about bird plants or anything. They throw that aside. They just do whatever they want to do. And so I had a whole team of doctors in there, probably some of them interns learning about this. And all I could do is sit there and look at them. And I was in, at that point, at that point, I was in a kind of euphoric mode where I was just in a daze. I, I didn't care about anything else around me. I was still thinking of Jesus. And I was in a semi, a semi-conscious kind of state in my spirit. It's so extraordinary, you know? And they said, well, we're waiting. Just push it out. <laughs> Just push. And I did not know how to push because this was, of course, my first time. And like how I started to push with my head and I became... Uh, I, I felt like I would faint, you know, so the doctor said, no, you're doing it wrong. Just ease down, ease down as if you're going to do a number two, as if you're going to, you know. And um, I did so, and that's when the pain became the most, that's the most difficult point of giving birth, I would say. Not the labor pains, not the contractions. Of course it was painful, but when you're in a state of riding the waves, as I would say, and not giving way to fear, anxiety, and nervousness, I think you can get through it. You can get through the worst type of pain if you focus on the Lord, you know. So, um, that was the worst part of the whole process when um, I had to push the head out and it took a while, it took a while, I eased down and the head came out and Alana popped out and the doctor said, well, this is what happens when, um, you know, the, you, you got a, a really deep tear, right? So. Her head tore the whole part of the. Anyway, I I got I got injured <laughs> in the process. Then they had to um take the second one out, and the doctor's like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. He was so he was so encouraging, you know, in in the smallest ways, and he took his hand. The second one wasn't coming out um, head, head first. I think she was transverse or something like that. She was laying across. And um, I denied any help for surgeries. My husband said no, he doesn't want it either. So the doctor said, okay, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. So he took his hand, put it on my stomach, and he pressed down there and he turned around and they took, they um, pushed the hand, took the bag out, the, they cut the bag with the finger and Liana slipped right into there and she came out soon enough 
So I'm happy to say that I delivered twins thinking and meditating on the Lord, riding the waves of pain. It was an extraordinary experience, extraordinary experience. And um, this is how it felt to give birth to twins. And they were very tiny. They, I think the people gave them um, vitamin K without my consent. And I think they gave them the full dose of vitamin K for a full-term baby. That is what gave them a little jaundice when they came out, but they were fine. They needed no neonatal care except they took the babies to, you know, see if everything went properly, went on right. They were fine. I had to stay in there and rest and heal, and the healing process was, yes, it was painful. All I wanted to do was go home and, and just be with my family, but um, they kept me there for a while. I was in there for a week, and um, here I am now, four months later, <laughs> with four-month-old twins. How has it been mothering them? It has been, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make excuses, it has been difficult when they cry. When they cry, it's not just one cry, which can be irritating sometimes. Yes, your baby's voice, um, it kind of triggers a reaction for you to feed them, but it is also an irritating sound because you have to move to feed them. That's, I, that's what I think the cry is about. It's that way because they're triggering a response for you to get up and feed them. So it's not just one of, one of the calls, it's two, and sometimes they double up on me. So, um, wow, it's been such a life-changing experience. I've been going through changes in my attitude and the way I react and as a wife and as a mom, new mom. And um, I thank God. I thank God in the name of Jesus Christ for giving all of this to me. He would not give me what I could not bear. He would not give us what we can't I hope this helps you, those of you that are going to give birth. Follow me, as the Apostle Paul said, follow me. I'm telling you, as, as a person that just went through this, follow me with that. <laughs> you know, keep, keep your mind on Jesus Christ. He will help you. I think that's the way it was supposed to be. And I thank him so much. He's been so active in my life. I want that for every one of you out there, and he's working on me, and I pray that he works on you as well. So, hopefully when I get my memory card back from my husband, um, I'm going to make a better video and upload for you guys, and I'm going to continue. I have a whole list of things, but um, time does not permit me to make a lot of videos with the babies here. I'm so busy. I have my hands full and um, you know the little help that I have. My mom isn't well at all so um, pretty much back to the back to square one. <laughs> so be blessed. Have a good day and thank you for you know being on my channel and sharing your wisdom in Christ with me. Sometimes, at first, I, I, you know, I may react in a certain way, but as I'm being conformed to the image of Christ, I hope you have patience with me in that. I'm still learning as you are.
apa 